Hey, it's Frank Salinas with the Groove team, and I have some updates with GrooveCart. These are updates that have been made to the platform since we did the last update. I'm going to go over them right here, and then some of them I will demo for you, okay? So, first thing we did, Shopify migration improvements. This was some changes that were made on the back end just so that the integration with Shopify still works so that you can uh, migrate your Shopify store to GrooveCart. Let me show you real quick where that is done, okay? So if you go to apps and then you click on app manager, you will see here this little app that says Shopify migration tool. You go here and then you follow the process of getting your Shopify URL, the API key, etc. Okay. So now let's go back. Printful templates. Now here, this is something I want to demo for you to show you the importance of the Printful templates. So I'm going to show you how to use the templates right now. So what you want to do is if you're using Printful, you go to uh, products, POD and drop shipping, and then you go to Printful, click on learn more, and then you click the little cog. And then once we're here, there's a section that says Printful templates, okay? So we can set up a new template. Now, why do you want to have templates? Very simple, to save you time, 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 time. With Printful, the way the integration works, before you'd have to copy and paste the details of the product, and this is going to save you time so that you can set up a template once for each product that you're selling and then you can uh, push that with your product when you import it from Printful. So let me show you. So I'm going to go new template and here you'll see that we have the template name, the description, the full description, the tags, the default category and then the brand. Okay. So let's just say I have this catalog, right? inside of Printful and I know I'm going to sell t-shirts, hoodies and mugs and some other things. So let's just say I'm going to set up this hoodie. This is what I would do. What I would do is I would name the template the name of the product. And let's just say you decided to work with this heritage hoodie. Okay. And that's going to be your default hoodie that you use for all your products. And then you have a default t-shirt that you use that's a unisex and then let's say you have a unisex v-neck so you'd want to set up templates for each one of those products so that when you set up multiple designs you can just pick the template and save literally a lot of time at least five five or more minutes of copying and pasting okay and i'm going to show you how to do that right here so copy the name of the product okay and then go into your store paste it okay now why did I do that so that when I go back to use the template later I know the template is matching with the product that I've imported okay short description this can be a short description of the product I like to use it as a place to put my ad copy because it's usually at the top of the product page so this can be any ad copy you want to and I always try to keep them generic for the most part people when they see the item if they love it they're gonna want to buy it most people don't read all the fine details so in my experience I've seen that most people don't read the, the fine details they just see something they like and they buy it they just want to make sure that they pick the right size and things like that so let me show you this hoodie makes a great gift for you or some someone you love okay very simple I'm not gonna uh, over complicated here for this demo okay and there you go and how about this our there you go our unisex hoodies make a great gift for you or someone you love okay and then I'm gonna get the full description so pay attention here because this is very important I want them to know as much information as possible uh, about the item that they're buying for the customers that do read the description okay so if you go down here you'll see that you have the description so I'm gonna copy this and what I like to tell people is I only copy the stuff that I know is going to be beneficial to the customer I leave out text that is talking to me and you the user of GrooveCart the person that is selling the item so like it says blank product source from Pakistan I don't need to include that uh, this product is made on demand no minimums I don't need to include that either so then I'm gonna control C or copy however you do it on your computer and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna paste it okay now what I tell people is to read the full description to see if there's 
any other uh, language in the description that is speaking to me and you, the seller, okay? So this says classic unisex hoodie with a front pouch pocket and matching flat drawstrings. The 100% cotton exterior makes this hoodie soft to touch. What's more, if you go with custom prints, you can personalize the hoodie to your heart's content and maximize your branding thanks to the custom inside label. So this I would take out because that's speaking to you and me, uh, the people that are selling the item. Use it to showcase your logo, strengthen your custom. Again, this is speaking to me and you, the person that is selling the item, okay? And then, and then here I might say, our classic unisex hoodie has a front pouch and uh, pocket and matching flat drawstrings. The 100% cotton makes this hoodie soft to touch and is perfect to add to your collection okay something like that now and then you go read this 70 65 percent charcoal carbon gray 100 percent all this other stuff looks good okay and what i like to do is this has like a gray color i like to make it black so now what i like to do is add a size chart so watch this so here we are on the product information page right if you click here you see that there's something that says size guide and watch how easy it is to set up a size chart so down here you see size chart so in my case i'm selling from the u.s so i'm going to include in inches if you're abroad you can put it in centimeters and so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to just copy and paste this right into the field right below this so watch this i'm going to control v and look how cool that is so now what i'd like to do is maybe just bring this in a little bit okay and then i'm going to come over here bring this in a little bit like that and then I can go ahead and say size in inches okay that way they know and then I can even come in here and bring this in a little bit more and now that looks great so now I have a size chart to go with my full product description so here for tags what I'd like to do is put what the item is and I keep it plural if you're setting up t-shirts I put t-shirts if you're setting up mugs I put mugs if you're setting up uh, leggings I put leggings things like that so that you can use those tags later on when customizing your store default category I leave it set to home and then I change the category when I set up the product and then for brand if you'd like to you could set up a brand ahead of time and maybe name it the name of your store and then you could hit click it in the drop down but in this case I'm just gonna leave it no brand and then I'm gonna hit add template Now, let's just say I set up a product and I pushed it to the store, okay? Let's go to the dashboard and let's just assume we have a hoodie we're gonna set up under product templates. So let's just pick one and let's pick this Groovezilla. So I'm gonna add to the store. And now in this case, this isn't the same style hoodie, but I'm just gonna show you how it would work. So I just went through the steps real quick of pushing it to the store, and so now I'm gonna import it. So watch this. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna search, and we're gonna set this up for this demo just to show you how it would work. So I'm gonna hit search, and we see the hoodie here. I'm gonna add it to my store. So here's the cool part. We already set up this template, so now if we click this, it brings in all that information that we set up earlier in the template. So now you save all that time from copying and pasting. And then you can go down here and then you add product. And once that product is added, you'll see that the information we set up in the template will show up on the product itself. All right, so let's go to products and then let's take a look. So here's the product we set up as a demo right now. As you can see, there's the ad copy that I put there and there are the details along with the size chart. This will save you tons and tons of time. And what I recommend is you pick your flagship products, whether it's a hoodie, a t-shirt, a unisex, v-neck, etc. Decide what those products are and then save them as templates inside of the Printful app so that you can save hours and hours of time as you add more and more products to your store. So now let's go over currency conversion and how you can edit that if you need to. So you're gonna to go to settings and you're gonna to go to international. And who is this for? This is for people that want to offer a currency other than the US dollar. If you are abroad and you want to offer your country's currency, you just come to currencies and then you can turn it on. So let's just say I am offering the Australian dollar okay because i'm in australia i want to turn that on so i can click this x and it'll enable it 
okay and then we can hit save and that'll turn it on for us so let's see I don't know if I clicked it let's click it again there we go so there we go so if we scroll down we'll see that we have the Australian dollar there as an option now and you can also choose your default currency right there and then you hit save and then you're ready to go now this is good for people that are abroad and they don't want to offer just the US dollar they want to offer their country's currency this is updated every hour and we have pretty much any country that's needed in these settings so that's pretty 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 cool now if you want to turn something off you just go here and click the X and it'll turn that off again and then it'll just leave the default currency that you need and remove anything else and then you hit save and you are ready to go okay the last update we have David Lemon already covered this but I'm just gonna show you again in case you didn't see the update we now have the product page as a home page as an option inside of Groovecart so in this demo store just so you know I won't show you here just to save some time but in the builder we have product elements where you set up your pricing and the description and things like that but that only works for the product page because the home page is meant to showcase your store it's there to show off what you have on sale it's there to showcase your best selling products things like that right that's your home page but for whatever reason maybe you don't want to set up your home page right now but you have your product ready to go you have it connected you have it ready to fulfill maybe you make your own product and you just have a one product store idea and you want to save time well you can now set that product as the home page so let me show you what that looks like so I'm in this demo store right this is what it looks like using the theme but let's just say I wanted to sell this beautiful tank top it's the best tank top in the world right so let me go to this product here and show you how simple it is you just go here to edit and instead of having this as my store right let's just say I'm like oh man I got all this stuff to edit ah, I just want to get up and running and save some time well you do this watch so once we click the product to edit we just go to step number six and then you'll see a little toggle switch set product as home page set this product as home page then you hit publish okay and now if I go back to the store watch what happens if I just click the, my logo and it refreshes boom now I have my product as the home page so what does that mean let me click on home what happens boom it goes to this product so if you wanted to save time and get up and running quick you have everything ready you have the mock-ups you have the beautiful images you have the description you have the ad copy you're ready to go and you want to save time and you want to just sell this one product to get going you can now do that inside of Groovecart and it's a cool little feature we've had many members asking for this and it's now inside of Groovecart be on the lookout for some cool stuff happening in the next four to six weeks we got a bunch of exciting stuff coming I'm excited to share those things with you myself David Lemon and the whole Groove team is thankful for you for being part of the Groove family we'll see you on the next video